Um, hi, or Islamat Kabar from where I'm from. Uh, my name is Jasmine Ibrahim. I'm a second year real estate undergrad. So my name is Kirill Fatushin. I've been here for seven years now. I'm a second year student in University of Reading doing economics and I'm from Ukraine. Uh, I'm David, I'm, 20, I'm 21 years old and uh, I've been here for three years and I'm doing the War, Peace and International Relations. Hi, I'm Matilda. Um, I'm from Norway, I'm 20 years old and I study politics and international relations and I've been in England for a year and a half. Hi, my name is Virginie, I'm 19, 19 years old and I come from France. Uh, I've been here for about a month and I'm studying business and ec economics. Um, my name is Abungile Bruce Butelezi. I'm in my second year. I'm doing a BA in art. I've been here now for a year and a half and I'm South African. I was welcomed but I remember because I was international I came a few days earlier so I wasn't moved in by a JCR member but by a receptionist. So I didn't really, like, no one told me about all the freshers things and everything. But. The first day I got in here, they welcomed me at Heathrow Airport. They arranged shuttle buses. There was an international student helper. So asking if we had all documents, um, helping us get the Heathrow Express bus. That was really, really helpful. I must say, like, coming off the flight, that's, that's the most panic I've ever felt. Like, just from the get-go, they've been really, really helpful. Yes, I was, because... Um there were um, students who welcomed us on our first day and um, then the university organized some meetings and stuff to get to know each other. Um, when I first got here I felt very welcomed. I remember I got here the first, like I didn't arrive the Saturday that everybody did, I arrived the next Saturday so I was a week late. But my housemates were amazing, the JCR were amazing, everybody was really helpful and stuff like that which was quite great. I wouldn't really say language barriers because I grew up in a very... So I went to a private English school since I was in kindergarten all the way up to college. So I did my A-levels, I did the IGCSEs. Um, so I feel that my command of English is quite decent and I'm able to communicate fluently. I think my English is pretty understandable. Uh, the only language barrier is like slang, like chunder and chuffed and all of that stuff. I was like, when I first got here, I didn't know any of that. When I first got here, I was 14 years old and I was actually sent to boarding school in Scotland by my parents. I arrived there, knew no language, I didn't know anyone. So first, I'd say four to six months were really hard because um, People were quite friendly, but just nobody could really talk to me because I couldn't speak any English. But afterwards, it was fine. No, because people are really uh, welcoming and they know that uh, English is not your mother tongue. So they are really nice to you and they explain you if you don't understand it, uh, something. And I hope that everyone can understand me. Um, no, there were no language barriers. I mean, in South Africa, English is one of the official languages. So in terms of us communicating, it was OK, I suppose. That, yes. <laughs> so even though in Malaysia, there's still a very high prominence of British culture, we still are very dependent on American media. It was difficult. Like Culture to me is about media, um, jokes, humour, and sometimes I won't be able to catch it. I, I really did, yeah. I thought that um, many things like humour, the way that the people were, like the friendship generally worked between people, the way that the people sort of spoke about where they're from, what, what they're doing, uh, their hobbies, everything was very different. So I really struggled at the beginning to adapt. But British drinking cultures and the way that British students spend their time is very much different. But um, overall, I would say that teenagers and like people who are like quite young, 20 year old plus, like they're all pretty much the same anywhere. So it's not that much of a difference anymore. According to my observation, there is a, an interesting fact about the English is that um, whenever, whenever the British people, they meet uh, each other, the first thing they will see, the first thing they will say is the weather. It is about the weather. Like, uh, for instance, oh, it is really cold. Indeed, so it's really cold. They can tell from your accent, from your choice of word, from the, from the pace that, that, that 
that you're speaking? What kind of personality that you have got? No, I don't think so because friend, the French culture is quite the same as the English one. They just go out really early uh, compared to France. Um, like the party is finished I, at two, while in France it's four or five, something like that. The only thing is like the Christmas. Christmas is a day early in Norway. Like we celebrate it on the 24th. And then when you go back from the clubs, you stop drinking. <laughs> and in Norway, we keep drinking to like six or seven. <laughs> yes, I did. Um, just like simple. What was the most shocking thing for me? Um, the food. Food was very shocking. Some of the things like um, cheesy chips, obviously that's a, it's an unfamiliar thing to us. You know, also the one with the potato. Um, Jack and potato, very unfamiliar also, it's a, there's like a taboo thing, like, that's a thing, <laughs> you, you know? Also, I think the excessive tea drinking, that was quite a shock, like, have your tea in the morning, keep it moving, but other than that, it wasn't too bad. Recently this year, they've had an international officer, um, and Diego's really kind, he listens to anything I have to say on Facebook, um, and it's been really helpful, yeah. They, they do, yes. Uh, there's an Erasmus society and uh, all soci societies you can imagine and want to go in. It's not blatant, but there's a, they not enough international activities, if that makes sense. Like they don't, I mean, yes, you do have the international night, there's the international committee, but if you're not part of that society, you don't know what's going on and stuff like that. And that's just in terms of even recognizing different religions and cultures. I don't think there's enough awareness around that. But, yeah, I suppose, baby steps. Um, there's a vast difference between education back home and here. I think they really teach you to be more independent and to think critically, whereas my education system was very much spoon-fed. So, memorise this, memorise that, and that's what's going to come up for the exam. Yeah, massively actually, because um, the way the university system works in post USSR countries is basically you uh, get like sort of sets of exams where you need to come to your lecturer and have like a one-on-one -on -one conversation about what you've been studying and learning. And only then, if they actually approve of your level of knowledge, they can pass you so you can go into the next semester. Otherwise, you have to do resets. I much prefer um, like UK way of education, especially in university level. Uh, yes, I think because here you are, you haven't a lot of lectures, and um, teachers expect expect you to read a lot of things and do some personal researches. And we we do have these things in France, but it's not that important at, as here. No, I haven't. I find that Reading is such a diverse, multicultural place. I think there's more people of different ethnics that I've met here compared to back home. Not, not directly, but I do, I do quite often get the thing when, uh, when people will hear my accent, they'll sort of be like, oh, so are you visiting? Like, are you here for, for a long time and stuff? And I'm like, well, actually, I have a passport now, so I'm living here in London with my family and stuff. Normally think that people just come here to work for a couple of years and then go back. I was asked if, um, where, where am I from? So I was like, oh, South Africa. And they're like, oh, Africa. And I was South Africa, but yes. And they were like, do I bleach? Why am I so light in complexion? I literally just walked away. Yes, I have. Um, I live with five other girls and they're mostly British people. My closest friend is from Surrey, so she's British. She is genuinely the most nicest, loving, like kindest person I've ever met. I'd like to believe I did, yeah. I mean, uh, I have, uh, I live with, in a house with uh, five other guys and all of them are either like English or Welsh or something. All my friends pretty much are from England. I have made a good group of friends. Um, most of my friends are English, but I do have my international band. If I'm truthful, my university experience has its ups and downs, but overall it's been a thoroughly enjoying experience. Yes, I'm really enjoying studying here. Yes, I do. <laughs> I absolutely love it here. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. Yes, I do.